கொன்னிச்சிவா காஞ்சி முசுகாஷினே ஏ ஹியர் இஸ் த ஈஸி வே டு மெமரைஸ் லுக் அலைக் ஆர் சிமிலர் காஞ்சிஸ் so let's start haji me ma show in this video i would like to share the way how i learned the similar kanjis by taking examples of these four kanjis the best way to learn kanji is by understanding the radicals radicals are the components or the building blocks of kanji and each radi radical has its own meaning memorizing the radicals simplifies the learning process of kanji radicals can be two or three or more which join together to build a kanji for example this kanji au which means blue has two radicals one and the lower one two but in this video we will consider it as a one radical and we'll see how it combines with the other radicals to produce the new kanjis these all three kanjis are similar containing our radical and a different radical in the front a different radical in the front like this this and this now let's see what are the meaning of these radicals and how these are related to the kanji let's start with au which means blue the examples of these kanji are this kanji are au zora which means blue sky au jashin which means blue print now this kanji is called as shin se or kyu which means pure or clean this kanji has two radicals one is au which means blue and the other one is sanzui which is a water radical so this radical is mostly used in the water related kanjis like umi which means sea ike which means pond arau means to wash etc now examples of these this kanji are number 1 kiyoraka which means clean or pure number 2 seiketsu which means clean or hygienic and number 3 is seiso which means cleaning so all th uh, the meaning of these kanjis are uh, cleaning or clean or pure and uh, cleaning or purity or hygienic is somehow related to the water so by knowing the meaning of this radical sanzui we can differentiate this kanji from the other similar kanjis now this kanji is called as se or hare which means clear up this kanji also contains two radical one is ao and the other one is nichi nichi which means day or sun so this is related to the weather day or view like uh is it the clear weather or clear view so we can see the examples the first one is hare which means fine weather number 2 is kaise which means 
good weather and number 3 is miharashi which means view so now let's make it more easy to make it more easy to learn you can make a story like the blue sky is considered as the clear clear weather and in a clear weather you can see a clear view so this is how you can make your own story which will help to memorize the kanji for a long time now the last kanji is jo which means feelings actual situation or passion now it also has two radicals one is ao and the other is shin or kokoro while using as a radical it is written like this which has the similar meaning of kokoro now the examples of this kanji are aicho number 1 is aicho which means love or affection number 2 hyojo which means facial expressions and number 3 is jo se which means state of affair these two kanjis love affection or facial expression are related to the feelings which come from the heart like happy sad or angry and the third kanji jo se which means state of affair which is the actual situation so in this way the radicals help us to understand the meaning of kanji and to memorize the kanji for a long time now this is the list of kanji we learned in this video number 1 aozora which means blue sky number 2 ao jashin blueprint number 3 kiyoraka clean or pure number 4 seiketsu clean or hygienic number 4 se so cleaning number 6 hare fine weather number 7 kaise good weather number 8 miharashi view number 9 aicho love or affection number 10 hyojo facial expression number 11 jo se state of affair i hope you are able to differentiate these similar kanjis and will not get confused while answering the question in an exam related to these kanjis thank you for watching the video please also share your view of learning and some other similar examples of kanji in the comment box video this arigatou gozaimashita yoroshiku onegaishimasu